Good morning guys, welcome back to Keeping Up With Marisol. So, I know I look crazy, it's about 4.45 in the morning and we're here at the airport. Um, we got a surprise trip to Mexico City um, for Jose's accomplishments. He is going to be recognized, so that's so exciting. Um, so if you guys want to see how this trip went for us and you guys want to tag along, go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do that, go ahead and like and subscribe. So we're in our seats. We're all ready to take off. We'll see you guys when we land. We're about to take a nap. Good morning, guys. So we have about an hour to get to our connect flight. There was a lot of turbulence on this flight, um, so I didn't really get to sleep well. That's why I look crazy. But, but for now, we are gonna have breakfast. A full breakfast. So we got a. We just landed here in Texas. We're getting our connecting flight from here. Um, I look a mess. I know um, it was the longest three hour flight. There was so much turbulence. We're just gonna kill time for the next three hours. And um, yeah, maybe just grab a bite and walk around. So. so we stopped to eat here. We found this little Mexican place. Um, but I also got an early Valentine's gift and I got some sunglasses. And this is what they look like. This is what they look like. They're so cute. What do you guys think? Cute. And then Jose got So we're 20. They look, they look good. Right? You guys are probably wondering why we're going to Mexico City. We're not really going for a vacation, but Jose's um, promoters, they called me last week before his fight and they were like, um, we need your passports. Um, we're gonna book some flights for you guys. I hope you guys are not busy Valentine's Day. Um, they were like, we really wanna give Jose an award. He's been working really hard and stuff like that. So I'm excited to see what they have for Jose. Um, he definitely deserves it. He's worked so hard for everything he has. I'm excited for him. All right guys, so we're on our connection flight now. We are very front, which is good. Um, but we'll see you guys in Mexico soon. So we finally made it to our room. I'm exhausted as you could see. But I'm gonna um, rest up, freshen up. It's our little room. Yes, Rest up, freshen up because they're gonna take us to dinner tonight. This is the restroom. It's pretty simple. Hey guys, so we just got back from dinner. I haven't been vlogging much because Jose's been meeting all these people and and things like that. We've been getting situated here. Um, but we had an amazing dinner um, with the president of the WBC Boxing. Um, yeah, so I think we're gonna call it a night. Tomorrow's a different day. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Morning guys. So today is the day of the event. I'm all ready to go. Um, I just came down to get a couple of things that I need to get. And Jose should be down in a minute. We're probably gonna go have breakfast if we have time and then head over to the event. So we're on our way to the event. This is a little view of our hotel. Say hello. Good morning all the way from Mexico City. Oh my goodness, I have hills and look at these rocks. March 
Una foto con la foto. Que no salga largo. Por recibir a José Carlos Ramírez, campeón mundial super ligero, invito a los equipos de colegas con los estrellas. Nos acompaña también en la, la plataforma del campeonato mundial. Tuvo el respaldo de Top Rank y la paciencia de dejar que los tiempos se dieran de la misma manera. Estaba la pelea lista contra ProRace, que lo tuvimos aquí hace un mes, y ProRace tomó el camino de la Super Serie, del World Boxing Super Series, y eso abrió la oportunidad para que eventualmente en un futuro se pudiera dar un, un gran enfrentamiento si se llega a dar. El día de hoy, nuestro campeón es Ramírez, eh, he platicado con él, su historia es fascinante, una historia de sacrificio, una historia de salir a conquistar el sueño y buscar una nueva vida para su familia, una familia unida, una familia hermosa y la verdad tenerlo como campeón de nuestro organismo es un orgullo, es un joven que sacrifica todo, no por él, lo hace por su familia, por su hijo y más por lo que representa en su comunidad. Él ha tomado acciones ejemplares y ha movido eh, lo que necesita una sociedad para que se avance y se logre dignificar la actividad del boxeador. Un campeón con un récord invicto, un campeón que protagonizó la pelea número 2000, ahí fue donde conquistó su campeonato mundial en la 2000 con un cinturón especial que se hizo. I just woke up from a nap and Jose surprised me with a Valentine's Day gift. I got two boxes, so let's see what's inside of them. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> wow, so the first thing that I got is this cute purse. I don't have anything like it. It has a handle and then I could just take that one off and use it like this. That's super cute. The next thing that I got are sneakers. They're so cute. Thank you, babe. Love you. I love you too. So happy Valentine's Day to you all. 
Um, we're on our way down to grab a couple drinks and then we'll head out to dinner. Um, Jose has an aunt that lives here in Mexico City, so her and her family are gonna come join us. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty simple tonight. Mexico City has been great to us, um, but I'm excited to head back home tomorrow and see Mateo. Um, we've been FaceTiming us and all he does is ask for papi. <laughs> But are you excited to see Mateo? Of course. I'm always excited to see my son. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. he we got to gotta, we gotta settle, settle in in our new house. We got, we got furniture coming, then we got we to gotta, we gotta show it to our families. Yeah. We got a special video for you guys um, coming this weekend, most likely this weekend. Um, I'm going to do a little, show you guys around a little and show you guys um, what Jose picked out for us. And we're excited, I cannot wait. Mateo got super spoiled and he's not even here. Um, he collected his third WBC mini belt and they also gave him a guitar, some maracas to make some more noise. He's just loved everywhere. That fills my heart up so much. So Jose and I came downstairs to the bar before going to dinner. I have a water but yeah I've been enjoying our stay Hey guys, so I didn't finish vlogging last night, but we just came home and went to sleep. It was a good night. It was a good day. Now um, we're going to go have breakfast, sightsee a little bit, and head to the airport. I can't wait. I can't wait to be home. So we're going to do a little bit of sightseeing, put all our stuff in the car, and then after we sightsee a little bit, we're going to head to the airport. La basílica más, más, más antigua, más viejita, por eso se está cayendo. Mire, you see? Yeah. It's shifting down. It's leaning forward. It's leaning to the, to the right. And this, is the, and this is the newest one they made. It's leaning forward, this building. So we made it to the airport where we're gonna grab a bite. So we're uh, we got here a little earlier, so we're gonna get a quick little bite. We're gonna get some uh, some tacos. They make some very good uh, uh ribeye tacos.
buying economy anymore. First class treats are just right. So we get here to the airport and baggage came and look how I see the champ. Finally back in Fresno. Even though we brought all that tequila in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little disappointed because I bought a tequila in the airport and uh, it was really nice. Mexico City, like once I was already inside, and you know we could bring one bottle each, me and Marisol. Uh, so we bought two, right? One, one where she could claim it, and the other one I claimed it. However, the tequila bottle was uh, was uh, was made a little too thick with the crystal, with the, you know, the crystal glass, and. Uh, I guess that machine couldn't couldn't hear the uh, the fact that it was okay for it to pass when we got our second flight in, in uh, Dallas, Texas. So, Jose had Anyways, to give away I paid a bottle. For, I, paid, I paid for it to get a bottle for them to keep. So, yeah, we were very disappointed, but hey, it happens. Got, lesson learned. But we, we still got, got a lot more. <laughs> we still got one of one of my favorite favorite ones. You know, Casa Dragones. Yep. Very good to be uh, Yeah, so, yeah, it was a great trip. Time to get our bags and head home. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.